<laughs> my dude. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Magic Duels with me. This deck is... It's decent enough to finally show you. I'm still grinding, still looking for cards. There's some cards I have in here that I'm not, it's not a deck tech. I'm not gonna talk about it at all, but there are some cards I have in here that are strictly worse than other cards in the format. And I might run both of them, so I don't really know. I'm not gonna talk about it too much. So I'm just gonna take you through what I've got right now. It's it's what I wanna do with this deck, so that's good. There's the mana base. Um, basically, I wanna like mill their creatures, take them. The in, in the meantime, I'm just gonna nutbag them up. There's like 10 nutbags a game coming out. Make them sack their side. It's really fun. I really like it. Jace comes out pretty often unless I get tapped down or killed or whatnot. I'm not going to talk, talk about too much. We're going to show you in game. Let's get to it. All right. She's rocking my background. I want to change that to those green peaceful fields that I saw in that last video. I'm still looking for it. I don't even know if I've unlocked it yet or how to unlock it. Or maybe they're all unlocked and I just haven't looked. But okay. Besides that. What are we looking for in our opener with this type of deck? Even though it's not in his final form, Francis Boyan, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it to you. What do we need, brother? He's telling me we need we need like three lands. That's not three lands. I would like a toots because we need a mill and shit so we can take it later with Rise from the Grave or just mill him. That'd be nice. Uh, we also need some draw power like Telling Time. This is pretty good, but we don't have everything we need, which is lands. Draw no hand. Oh my god! All right, we have two. We have Read the Bones. This is better. It's not great, but better. Because I mean, it's not great because we had a mold of six, and I didn't really want to because I want to showcase this deck and what it can do. I also wanted a Sphinx's Tutelage, but we're wanting him to be a little slow. Although we do have Perilous Mirror, so we can wall off things like uh, the one mana 2 1. Languish. Okay, so we're pretty good against aggro, which is good because that could be a problem. Okay. If he's doing a mid range, man, I don't know. Gruel mid range ripped me a new one, and I thought this deck would wreck any type of mid range deck, but man, it was just like. Weird threat after weird threat. Like, I didn't read half the damn cards and they started killing me. I'm like, wait, what? You're relevant? Shit. It's not good. All right, so we're doing this. We really need a land. Land. And then what do I get with Read the Bones? More draw or more land. If I don't pick up uh, more draw or more land in the initial two, because you could describe two and then you could choose to not choose either one of those or just one of them. You get to dig four deep, possibly. So I can dig uh, four deep. That needs to die. How does that need to die? I need a top deck of land, and uh, what's weird is with this deck, like right now, I thought it would be a good combo to have Perilous Mirror in with Nutbag Marauder. That way you can get uh, like a two for two. Land, yes. Um, but, like, I really need to rise. To the, a lot of times I need to rise from the grave, Nutbag Marauder. Usually, fly, I call this Nutbag from 2013. Um, because he looks like a nutsack in the other artwork from 2013. The original artwork, I think. I don't know what that's from. Anyway, he kind of looks like a nutsack there. So, or he has a nutsack on his cheek there. <laughs> anyway, he's Nutbag Marauder. That's the story behind that. It's, it's just awesome. Really classy, too. But I'm going to Nutbag. And what I'm saying is I could Nutbag and sack out um, this. And I could do two damage to that and kill it. But I'm going to actually do the nutbag because I found out that that's not usually the best play. I need nutbag in my graveyard for Rise from the Graves later on. And when you have a Perilous Mirror in your, in your graveyard instead, you're like, what was I thinking? I suck. And I did it. He quit. This is so common. I'm so sick of this. It's like, because I'm not going to, this is not a Magic Duels rant because I'm having fun with this game. But what I'm saying is they have created, and I guess I'm okay with it. Because it's basically a single-player grind for right now, okay? And it might just be in the lower leagues, in the lower rankings, okay? I get that. I'm like a two right now. Um, and I can still lose. Like, why would you quit when you had backup? So I took care of your Jace. It's, it happens, brother. I, it's magic. I'm not just going to let you cast shit and kill me. But, okay, okay. Aside from that, they have created a... Right now, and I'm just bitching in the, in the lower ranks, and it might it could go away. But, like, they're grind, everybody wants to grind to get the cards. So, right now, okay? Keep that in mind. But, like, so everybody quits every game. And, like, honestly, I found myself quitting, too. And it won't give you the win. It didn't give me the gold. I don't think it does. So, like, I just have to play this against the computer. They quit, like, 80% of the time. Like, I kill one creature. Like, nope the fuck out. Like, fuck this game. I'm going back to Hearthstone. Oh, but anyway, it's really not. I'm not bashing on it. I'm just showing you. I'm just telling you my thoughts on it. Right now, I'm going to read the bones. What are we doing? I'm in my first main. I need lands. Uh, do I need both of them? It would smooth it out. Sure, why not? Confirm. I don't really know if we do or not. Now we do have five. I'll take that. I'll take it. So we do have a languish. You know, what is the big problem? Even if... Now, here's us. This is super sexy, okay? Because I can language... Language. I can cast language. 
figure out how to speak English, and then tell you about how I can cast Languish, and then that's uh, four. I can kill my own, so it kills six and that. So even if you would have pumped this up with um, something bigger, like another another Nimbus Swings, oh, uh, that wouldn't work because that's another two. Yeah, it would. Uh, here we go. This is value. Look at the top. Put one in your hand, one in your graveyard. So another Nimbus Wings there. He would have had a uh, five, six, and I would have been like, shit. Uh, except I have language in my hand, and I can cast it and nuke anything with six. So this is definitely the value. To Did we get any information off that? He just draws a card. Other in your graveyard. Okay. Love seeing Jaces. Okay, don't steal Jaces, okay, with Rise from the Graves, unless they're in your graveyard. Because... I didn't really, I didn't really think about this or know this. Okay, I did it on a Gideon, but uh, return of transform under, under owner's control. Even if you own, like, have control of the card, you don't own it. The magic semantics will binge over barrel. Speaking of semantics, things like uh, telling time don't say draw on them or bitter revelation. They say put. It's not the same thing, so it doesn't work with Sphinx's tutelage. We're long-winded right now. Okay, so the play is gonna be. So I can actually swing, and it won't matter, right? Because uh, he didn't do anything to this guy. So I'm going to swing in. It really doesn't matter. I might get to sneak in one more damage. But this is definitely worth it. I don't want to take six damage in the air. But this could be a problem. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay because I have Nutsack and Cruel Revival. So I got I did sneak in one more damage. And we're going to be languishing. Now is there anything I want to steal of his? Not yet. You. So he's at 17 now. Instead, I mean, is that um 16 now? Instead of 17. Okay, so what are we what are we doing here? We don't want to steal any of this. A tower guy says 2-2. Two, two. I can steal a Jace, but I can't transform him. <laughs> it's giving him a planeswalker. Talk about value. And that was the other thing. The first the when I stole that Gideon, he's like, fuck that, I'm out of here. And then I trans I was like, yeah, gotcha, bitch. And I had a Jace, and then I transform him, and he got him, and it's like, oh shit. And I ended up losing that game to the computer. So that's the thing that happened. That's the reason that's another reason why I quit against the uh, the AI because so I don't want to get embarrassed. Okay, so he is running um, this. Let's see, we can Reef Soul, we can do a lot of things. I'm gonna hang back. I mean, I honestly think I'm gonna be hanging back for a very, this is gonna be a long game. And if he quits, I still have to play it out and you're still gonna see it. It's not like that anymore where I can just uh, dip out when they quit. I guess I could, no, 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 okay, so here's why it's gonna be a long game because what I'm gonna be doing is controlling his board with Cruel Revival and Nutsack Marauder. So he's going to have threats, and I'm just looking for, like, Sphinx's Tutelage or other draw engines to get more cards in my hand that say Rise from a Grave to eventually win at some point, either by milling, like, this seems pretty good to kill. It's a Reeve Soul. Whenever a creature and opponent controls becomes a target of a spell or ability, you gain control of that creature for as long as you control Willbreaker. Do I want him to do that? I could Reeve Soul it. I could Cruel Revival and get Nutbag back. I'm gonna Reeve Soul, uh, because, because it, I can kill it with Reeve Soul, right? He might, he might have, hopefully he has really good creatures late game that I can steal with Rise from the Grave, but I can kill it with Cool Revival because it's targeted removal and I can steal with Rise from the Grave. So in the meantime, man, we got time to talk about everything because this is going to be a long ass game. Let's see. I went to the Bahamas. I said that. There's not really any... I don't even remember most of the bombs. There's like 14 of us, literally. I don't really remember much of it. It was just a... It was pretty much the definition of a bender, but I had a great time. Uh, so there's really not much to say about the Bahamas. Um, let's see. What else? I had a, a bachelor party. Don't remember much of that either. It was in... Well, we had a river trip to the Guadalupe River here in Texas. And then I also was in Austin. I always have a great time in Austin. Drinking really good beer and getting hammered pretty much. So that was good. So I've just been drunk since I haven't been making videos. That's all I've been doing is drinking, apparently. All right, so we're going to sit here. There's not really a lot to do. We can kill this. Whenever a creature becomes a target of a spell or ability, gain control for as long as... So I can, I can start taking his stuff? That would actually be pretty cool. Do you dare me? He has Angelic, eat a damn dick, but it's like all of these weenies. He hasn't really shown any cool bombs that I would want to take, and I kind of want to... This doesn't target, though. This does. I could target him with this. What does this say exactly? A spell or ability. Oh my god. I'm gonna do it. This seems fun. Freeze frame, come back. Will breaker? Confirm. And then like all I get I start taking all this shit and I can win that way. Holy shit. we we just turn into a weenie deck. I love it. And this is an ability, right? Because I think I can nutbag. Target his 3-2 and take it. 
why don't I know the definition of an ability? Is this an ability? Maybe it has to have a colon. That's an activated ability. This is a passive ability. And so I think that it's legit. I will not be blocking that. No. All right, so it looks like he's going to be doing something with his mana because he decided not to tap. And he could have. No! Fuck! That's exactly why I didn't want to do that. That's exactly why... I, I did not even see Angelic eat a damn dick. I even said it in my words. But I wanted to do it, and I really didn't want to spin my wheels like this. But that... But hey, you gotta have confidence in your ability to talk to motherfuckers instead of making misplays. But I also kind of just wanted to do it. I think that would have worked. And it would have been really fun. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be doing is this. We're down to 11 now. 10-9 after this bitter revelation. Another languish seems good. Telling time seems good. We can smooth out our mana later. We don't really need all that mana. We're at three. I can nutbag and wipe his side, or I can nutbag. I'm going to nutbag here instead of telling time. I really don't want to go down any further because we're gonna be probably taking a little bit more life. Later on in this game, I really hate how I switch gears for no reason. Still going to be sacking out the nutbag. We're walling off his side. He could devote four mana to tapping this, but we're going to force him to. We're definitely not going to swing in because we're nowhere near the ability to, the, to, at the point in time, to get aggressive. I can still kill that with Languish, which is what I uh, will do because he still could have, still, something big that Languish doesn't kill. I, I, don't, I don't think he would. But, like, there's no point in, like, you know. Okay, so we're swinging in. Let's see, can he counter a target creed? Oh, wow. Is there any reason to swing in because... Oh, he's in there anyway. I was thinking I was going to block with this, but I'm not. All right, we're, we're getting to the point where we're losing it because I'm thinking about past plays that I can't get back. Fuck the Will Breaker. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, I'm almost positive this works with Perilous Mirror, right? I'm going to uh, research it after the video, but this is a passive ability. It's an ability. If it's got a colon on it, it's, it's activated, so that definitely would have worked. Um... Maybe. Sound off in the comments. I'm going to already know the answer by the time uh, you get you get to the comments. But So we're going to be doing uh, Telling Time or Languish. I'm going to be doing uh, Telling Time. Let's just be like, uh, man, we just threw into that Languish. So lucky. I'll take... Where's the other Languish? It's in the yard. Okay, so we're going to do Reeve's Soul. Confirm. We can put Rise from the Grave on top. We don't need lands anymore. This deck doesn't need a lot of lands. All right, the other language, I mean, the language is a rare. The other language is in the yard. So we're going to be doing this. Um, language, nug him. And it, what if it was went off Perilous Mirrors and Nutbag swinging in and drove by Merc Lurkers? That has happened. He is down to a respectable 13, and we're passing the turn back with no end in sight to this game. All right, so besides getting hammered drunk, what else have I done? Oh, we took a Shreveport trip. Didn't get hammered drunk on this night. Took a Shreveport trip. I'm an hour and a half away from Shreveport, Louisiana, which is the closest casino. I play poker, if y'all don't remember that. We were, uh, last Friday, I was, we were just kind of hanging out at the bar. I could rise from the grave. Nothing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be rising from the grave ing nutbag. I'm not going down that route. So, we're passing the turn back. Uh, we were at a bar. At, it was like closing time, in which, where I live, is uh, midnight for our bars. <laughs> uh, and then we're like, hey, man, you want to go to Shreveport? I'm like, What? Come on, no way. Oh, it's a little 4-4. I'm probably going to kill that and take it. A 4-4 is pretty respectable, right? It puts him on a pretty significant clock. And I can control his board with nutbags. So that's what I'm going to do. Unless he counters it. He could have counter magic here. That would suck. That would suck really bad. I'm going to get nutbag. Confirm. And I think I will rise from the grave. What do I do? Damn it! Top four. Here's our graveyard. Okay. That's, that's okay. We can rise from the grave now. Now that I know that he has the counters, I ha I, I think I'm going to have to because e even that, that last card could, in his hand could be a counter. The counters are at four. Every time he had untapped mana, he was at three. Uh, so I think I'm going to do this. We're at one, so we definitely have to do this anyway. I don't really know what I'm thinking. Oh, but I, I took the four. That's right. Whew, we were getting close. Confirm. But, uh, so at midnight, we're like, hey, let's go to Shreveport. So we get there at 1.30, and I play cards, like I said, and everybody's there. Drunk people at 1.30 are really fun to play with, obviously. And it was on a Saturday night, so I was like, hey, that could be really good for me and profitable. Uh, but there was nobody there. There was, like, Joe, Bill, and Sam. And they were all, uh, this could get countered too, but I think we're going to go for it. Go back here to here. They weren't bad. Joe, Bill, and Sam's are a term I give to, fuck. <laughs> it's a term I give to the older guys. That are there, like, they're, it's, they're really common, so dealers know them by Joe, Bill, and Sam, the first names. But they're usually not very good. They're just okay. 
and they're really tight, and you can't win money off them. So, I was pretty bored. I made $40 and said, F this. I thought you didn't have any bombs. No! He takes my Reef Soul, you bastard. What happened there? We tried to... Uh, that's pretty good. Did he did he pick something? To reef? That's, that's a pretty good draw. So, we're still in it. Now, we're drawing lives to rise from the grave. Or Necromantic Summons. And it would definitely be a 7-7 at that point. We're, we're, we're down to one. Holy shit. I do not want to see Perilous Mirror because it would be pretty much a dead card. Because if you ever find a way to kill it. There's land. Well, he knows what I have in my hands. So I want to bluff that swamp. I don't need all those lands. This got interesting. And it's all because, man. Because I'd still have, uh, no, because, no, no, no. Because he would have done the Rise from the Graves uh, instead of what I had. There was a Jerby Merc Lurk him up. That's awesome. Unless she gets countered. Yeah, baby girl. All right, so what is this counter? What's the rarity? Common. And then there's another one at four mana, right? I love... Did I, did I mention that? That I love that they put the counter spells at four. I don't know if I said that, that on camera. I thought it. Uh, real quick, because it... it ner They nerfed blue big time by doing that, but they helped out black by giving them all the really efficient removal. Uh, there's something about... There's some difference between casting something and having it immediately killed. That's Okay. But have... What are you doing over here? But if it gets countered on the way down, for some reason I'm furious. Uh, and most people are. So, alright. So it, having them at four though, you can play around counter magic pretty easily. Because they can't have like a uh, dissolve open along with a nullify. Like in last iteration at five mana. You know, it's, it's a lot harder to have uh, double counters open. So you can get threats on the board and keep them on the board hopefully. Uh, so blue, blue black is I guess pretty solid. But still, I don't really see it being a thing. Alright, let's start reading. Flying. If you control another creature named Fairy, okay, draw a card. So it's what I have lethal. What is this? Can't attack or block. I can, God damn! What a card! And I can't, but I can't cast Reef Soul, so we're not. I mean, this isn't a permanent effect. When he leaves the battlefield, um, he goes bye bye forever. I'm gonna bluff that uh, Demir Guildgate. Also, kill this M Effer. I can't do anything. Why is this lit up? I wish this what wasn't lit up. It was lit up, and now it's not. I don't really know the reason for that. But we're going to be bluffing, bluffing with these lands. Maybe we need to put down the swamp just in case we need to do... Uh, ri I don't know. Just some combination of something. We're at one. We have a very, very small chance. We do have another Reef Soul, which kills almost all the creatures in his deck. Except unless he's running another all -Hal Homeret or some other random bombs. So the Elite Vanguard, I have to kill. So it's good for him to be drawing into creatures. Anything with feet is really good. There's an Erebos Titan. Yes. Okay, so what is, is this exile? What's angelic eat a damn dick? Exile target creature, so he can still kill Erebos' Titan, but this is definitely the play. Eat on it, because he have fucked me with the lands there, Timmy Pickens. Maybe, maybe not. If he does have a uh, destroy target attacking or blocking creature, which is really common in white, I would get around that, but I'm still drawing... He's still drawing live to... I'm guessing he's running more than one uh, Angelic eat damn dick which still dies because this says indestructibility, not in exile ability, which is not a word. Uh, so what are we looking for? Another Jorobai Merc Lurker is what we need. He's on a very relevant three turn clock. I wish I had counter magic right now. It's weird to say, but I wish I had it because we're, we're trying to protect really the only bomb in our deck. And so we have 27 cards. We're about to mill ourself. So we're drawing live. How many uh, draw buys we have in the yard? None, right? So we're, we have two more. He's drawing in the lands. He probably thinks he's getting fucked, but he's drawing pretty live there for a while, and I was drawing lands. I will not be casting Perilous Mirror, even though, uh, no, I just won't. J just in case he surprises me with some way to kill it, I would hate... Wait, wait, wait. Why, why, why would I even say that? Why was I saying I was I can't cast Perilous Mirror earlier? It's it's if, if he has a Perilous Mirror, you're on the back ropes. What was I even thinking? What was I thinking? So, back when I said that, I'm going to edit it out. You don't know what I'm talking about. No, I'm not. I can't do that. This was a crazy game. Um, What could he have right here? Uh, there's a land. So, he hasn't cast a card in his hand. It could be another land. I'm not really sure what it is, but I will not be casting that pre-combat. We're going to be swinging in and hopefully winning. Don't know why I thought per Perilous Mirror would kill me. That's weird. But I thought it. And I won that game, went down to one. What a long game. We tried to, I tried to tell you stories, but <laughs> they didn't last very long. And that's like seriously months. That's what I've been doing. It's like the big highlights. Anyway, I'll see you in the next. Holy shit. All right, we have a proper looking warrior. We're looking 
for a really good starter hand. I want to show you what this deck does. It seems good. Like, we have the Cruel Bible for the Nutbag. We have the Read the Bones. I am on the draw, so I think a two-lander is okay here, especially with the Read the Bones. Keep. All right, so we can get a little mana screwed. I really don't want to be because playing behind with this deck, I found to be pretty. It's I found it to be pretty tough, and maybe it's because the deck sucks. I don't know. I'm having fun with it. I'm like I'm winning car uh, games sometimes. I do have plays. I have two plays now. Uh, uh, land drop two, so that's good. Looking for a Jura by Merc Lurker. Looking for a Sphinx's uh, tutelage, so if we can hopefully eventually grab a bomb from his graveyard. Or mill him out. Alternate wing come, which is definitely viable. I actually think I have milled him more with Sphinx's tutelage. Milled opponents more for the win. More than I have uh, milling him with Sphinx's tutelage to get back one of their bombs. Because there's like every time I mill him, I'm like, none of these cards are good. I don't want any of these fucking things. I'd rather have endless nut bags. So that's what I do. That's what I found myself doing. I really want to land. I want to land. Perilous Mirror, Perilous Mirror, very common. <laughs> Turn two plays. This is beautiful. Like, Perilous Mirror is an all star. He's, man, he's just like, shake the maidens off. He's just a baller in this format right now. He's in every deck. He's a pseudo celebrity. Perilous Mirror, everybody, give him a hand. Solid card, especially in a format like this. Especially in a deck like this, because I need to wall off aggro. This could be like a blue white. I've seen. A sort of tempo blue-white deck that had, uh, so there's actually some pretty efficient flyers that I've seen so far. That's, not, I mean, arguably one of them, but I mean, one mana, one, one flyer, Suntel Hawk. I don't know if I've ever lost to a Suntel Hawk in my life. I think I've came close once before, but, um, that is not a good play, dude. Please do it. Please do it, but I'm telling you not to, but you can't hear me. I can't even tell you to in chat because they didn't make that a feature. Land! It's okay. All right, we're walled, we walled him off. And we've got plenty of time. I don't care about getting it in the air. I, apparently, he's got a bunch of 1-1s one -one so far, so another Perilous Mirror doesn't seem like a bad play. Uh, I've got the depressing music in my ear. I really don't like that. I guess I probably could have afforded a, a swing there, huh? Dun, 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 my <laughs> this is piano, just like cast a duck bag. Dun, 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 dun. So sad. That's one, one reason, like, I want, like, happy music. Like, remember in 2014, the dun 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 Man, that was good. Uh, here we go, land. Yeah! Read them damn bones. Are we uh, discarding? No, we're not. Okay, so we read the bones. What are we looking for? Uh, lands. I want all, all the lands I can have. That kind of sucks because, like, I want these and they're necessary. Confirm finish. Okay, I mean, that sucks, because I like to get more Fuego, but I guess I got the Fuego in my hand, right? So we're good. Uh, the Fleshbag Marauder, man, I don't want to, I don't want to nutbag this board state. I do want to, I think I'm going to, fuck it, I'm swinging. Like, he can't really block, right? So it's a free one damage. He can, like, neutralize this somehow with, like, uh, there's some blue things in this format that, like, uh, like a Frost Lynx into the the drought guy that he can't untap and shit like that do it do it do it please fuck brother fuck i need a win i need an easy win do it yes we're still gonna lose if we lose i'm gonna be so upset sun hawk he's gonna hit my perilous mirror hopefully he doesn't but yeah okay so i guess he really maybe you know honestly that one is going to hit your face. Okay, so maybe, honestly, he had other creatures. And that, that actually, honestly, I might have just forced him to play correctly. Because he might have other creatures in, like, like right here. I wouldn't be surprised if he had a uh, second main play. He doesn't. You know, I was kind of thinking that he's got a bunch of two in the asses. And those double Perilous Mirrors were really a big problem. So he didn't really care about Sun Tell Hawk or that Perilous Mirror. He really cared about his other uh, bigger bombs. So I could have... I was like, I was super excited about that, but I really didn't actually need to be. That could have been the better play. But I do like that one not hitting me. I've got a clear board, and I have plenty of removal. We're going to get to the late game. I've got five mana, which is really where this deck turns online. So, looking good. It's not going to be a quick win. It never was in the first place, so is it? Not with this deck, because we're looking for a Sphinx's Tutelage to start milling him. And I, with things like Sun Tell Hawk and Perilous Mirror, <laughs> we're probably going to be milling him, because I'm going to be using... The Grave Recursion to get back Nutbag Marauders all day, every day. I really don't want a Suntel Hawk. If he does have an Alhamaret at some point, that would be nice. 
So now this is exactly what I want to be doing. This is going to be a fucking long game. It's last time I'm going to say it, but holy shit. Oh, buckle up, fellas. We're in for an adventure. I feel like Bilbo Baggins right now. All right, so I'm swinging in. Definitely want to gain the life because we need it. Drove by Merc Lurker, just doing what he needs to do in this deck. Always come down, coming down as a 2-4. I did, uh, yesterday, I cast him. He was a 1-3, and I was like, the fuck is wrong with this? And I had all these guild gates out, and I was like, wait, this, is, this isn't right. Because I'd never seen him as a 1. I was so used to him being a 2-4 in this deck because I have so many black, source, black, black swamps, more specifically. And if he doesn't decide to do anything, with all of the control in my hand... I think it's absolutely um, viable to just nutbag and keep swinging in with Jorovai, gaining the life and killing him off that. Like, no shit. Because I, I have three nutbags at this point. And I, I have four, I have four, I have ways to take care of four creatures right now. Which is insanely good, unless he shits out a bunch of Sunsell Hawks. So I honestly might just hit, this is a clock. This is a relevant clock right now against his deck. I love it. He could, uh, he could counter it. So he could cast a Sunsell Hawk. And have the counter magic open because the counter magic's at four. That'd be hilarious. All right, this is looking good. I do. What do I need now? I might. There's another draw by. Perfect. Because now it's an even shorter clock, so that's good. So we're gonna. We have the ability to give him life link and cast the other draw by. So we're we're shortening the length of time he has to do something. I I have, find it hard to believe that. Did he quit? It doesn't tell you anymore. Uh, that seems good. It doesn't tell you if he quit. Like say boss thirty ten. He's still say boss thirty ten. Even if you quit. Like, it doesn't tell you you're playing against the AI. I don't really know why they did that. It's like every iteration they do shit that you're like, why? Like, why did you get rid of chat? You know, like, it's just like weird shit that it doesn't make sense. Like, why would you even get rid of that? I don't understand it. Anyway. Uh, what was I saying? I don't remember. If we're still playing against this guy. Yeah, like, what could he have in his hand at five? He has all of the blue and white sources he could want. Now at six, why doesn't he have anything? There's no board wipes, wipes that I'm... Like, Martial Coup? It's not in the format. Um, dehydration. He's got it! What did I say? The guy that makes you thirsty or whatever I said? He's got the enchantment I was talking about earlier. Uh, I can, can I cast abilities? I can. It doesn't really matter because double lifelink doesn't do shit. So he's possibly de delaying the inevitable. Or maybe he has a bunch of fucking dehydrations in his hand. And we're just going to be staring at each other. If that's the case, I'm going to... Uh, I might even do that right now, because I'm so terrified that he's going to get creatures down, enough creatures that I can't take care of his shit. But I can get down one nutbag, especially since this Drobi's not doing anything anymore. I can get back, I can get down the nutbag, keep him around as an attacker, it'd be a 3-1, and I still have enough control to uh, survive, right? So I'm going to be doing this, sacking out the guy that's got the enchantment on him, dehydration, he's real thirsty, and so I'm just going to put him out of his misery, and so he's, he's like, look, he's thirsty sitting in water, he's like, I'm dying! It's okay, brother. Putting you out of your misery, goodbye, and you know what? I'm going to think about you, you're the only drove by in the graveyard, if I can somehow at some point get you back at some time, and still win the game, I'm going to do it, because you deserve it, brother. Uh, I'm at 23, he's at 12. I'm swinging in for 5, i got a feeling this is going to get dehydrated, or maybe he'll wait to dehydrate this. I'm not really sure which one's better for him. But. Hmm. I don't want to keep. I have the Reeve Souls. I want to keep that other nut bag. I really do. Because like an Alhamaret and I'm fucked. But if he has an Alhamaret. Yeah, I can, I can cast Cruel Revival or nut bag. So I'm still good. And like with that many cards, there's no way. There's no, like, what is he thinking about, first of all? Is his dinner getting cold? <laughs> he had to eat it really quick. Oh, man. But doing a yo-yo doing a or something, a little, little paddle, paddle board shit. I don't know why he'd be doing that. Another dehydration does not surprise me at all. It's that common. He hasn't been doing anything. But what else is in his hand? It can't be... What other blue is in the... Uh, blue controls in the format? I don't know. I Apparently a lot. That's a tutelage! And I have six men to start drawing shit. Okay, good. Okay, so what are we doing? We're looking for another read the bones because we have plenty of life. We're going to be swinging in. Oh my shit, he's fucking... Give me some Gatorade on this boy. I need a top deck of Gatorade. He's making all my shit thirsty. All right. <clears throat> so, I'm a little parched in real life too. So, I'm going... I mean, I've been talking a lot, man. These games these games are long. I'm not going to cast a nut bag. I got a feeling I'm going to need it. And uh, I did not gain life and I could, uh, could have. Sucks. If that becomes a thing, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. He's at nine. He's on a three turn clock. What is he gonna have enough? Another one? No, he went to instep, so he doesn't have it. I don't even think you can fake it like that unless he was spamming tab. You. 
This does not say draw, unfortunately, but I think I will. Four, five. Um, uh, maybe, maybe I don't. I'm not milling them, guys. God damn. I hope I can kill them with damage before I mill them, or we're in pain. We're, I don't know what I'm going to do, so I don't feel like gaining more life. I might, I might have should have thought about it, but I don't feel like it. Uh, we're going to be doing this. The play might be to start milling them, but I don't really want to do that. There's a bunch of damn lands. I actually think we didn't hit a land drop, so we're going to do that and that. Do this. And do nothing past turn back. And we could have, unfortunately, hit him up with that lifelink. So we're at 21. Because of Bitter Revelation. I was confused at first. I was like, weren't we at 23? Alright, so now he's at Alhamaret mana. Let's see if he's got it. I'll kill it with Cruel Revival, but that would suck because I wouldn't have a nutbag. I could nutbag... I would actually, yeah, I would not, well, it depends on what he picks, right? He, he would be, he, I don't really know. He's in, he's in a world of hurt. I'm going to win with a damn Fleshbag Marauder. All these dehydrations and shit. Oh my God. Where's my Gatorade? I'll top deck a Powerade at this point. Give me a water, anything. I'm like on Naked and Afraid right now. What are you? You're a creature and you have a lot in the front and back. That's good. Battlefield, you may search, grab your hand in the library for an R card, put it on the battlefield, attach, boom, and serve another way to shuffle it. Okay. That's horrible for him, because I have Fleshbag Marauder. So what does he get? Where is this? I read it really fast. Graveyard, Hand, or Library. That card is sick. How many How much, How much? many monies do you cost? Seven mana. See, like, that would actually be okay if there were good uh, enchantments in a format, but they're not. They're all bad. So, luckily... Oh, he gained life. All, okay, I'm going to try and mill you. Luckily, we have good answers, and we have a reason to cast... Nutbag Marauder, and that really sucks for him. We're not going to be doing anything else. We could do another Bitter Revelation to see if we can draw into something else. But we're at 21. She's a creature sapphires. You. Obviously like having the lifelink, but I also like having the ability to get him back with Cruel Revival. That's why I'm sacking out the Nutbag Marauder. All right. I could have two three ones, which might have been the play for that reason, but I'm still playing it probably, honestly, possibly too safe. Because, actually, if he does all Hammeret, I wouldn't be able to cast Cruel Revival anyway, because that's the bomb. The bomb we've been, uh... The bomb that we've been talking about that he probably doesn't have. Alright, well, that was a bomb. I would consider what he just had a bomb. And we can mill out the all Hammeret. Weird deck. But maybe, man, I'm, I'm, like, I'm down here with him, man. We're both unlocking cards. He can't help it. He's got to run a Sento Hawk. He has no cards. So I don't either. It's okay. This deck is pretty close to its final form, though. Even if I had all the cards at my disposal, it would still take me a while to figure out what I did and didn't want. This sucks because they can afford to, to like... Maybe he doesn't know. So we need to play a little dirty. I'm going to Reef Soul the fuck out of that as soon as I can because he can tap this and I wouldn't be able to attack with him. And that would set him back another turn. But, like, what cards are in your hand? I want to see so bad. They're not lands because, like, you're laying them, I think. Are they enchantments? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to try and resolve real quick. Resolve. You. Hurry up. Hurry up. Reeve. You. <laughs> Shit. Yo, we countered it. That's okay. That's okay. And he can't even tap it down now. That's good. Reef soul. You. And I still get a swing in. I put... He filled up my yard a little bit. No, Jace. I can get that back, though. That'd be sweet. All right. So we're going to be doing this... And then, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're probably going to win next turn. I don't really see how we wouldn't because we have a Cruel Revival. Uh, we can read the bone so we can Cruel Revival and maybe, like, also Nutbag or something like that. I don't really see a big point in casting Jero by. We're going to read the bones. Kind of a boring game and a very long one. This is going to be a long-ass episode. <laughs> Another Cruel Revival seems uh, okay. I could I could keep drawing. No, I'm going to finish. I'm going to dig a little deeper. See what we get. Uh, you... You? Oh yeah, Read the Bones actually works with tutelage. Now the other draw spells do. Alright, and I do have four Read the Bones now. That was actually one of the crucial pieces that I really wanted to uh, to put in before I did Sphinx's tutelage. May or may not have been worth it, but like I still have just Rise from the Grave instead of Necromantic Summons. I don't like running cards that there are, are, there's a strictly better card. Like, especially in this format, man. Come on. So I wanted to hold off on it, but definitely with uh, four Read the Bones, I think it's worth it. Alright, so... Uh, I think we win... We don't have, there's not a lot we could do about it if he can take care of our shit. 
We don't have Rise from the Grave just yet. So we swing in and hopefully win. I don't know what's in his hand still. Destroy target attacking or blocking creatures. Gotta be in white. It's gotta be in his hand. Apparently it's not, and we win! God damn. But we have to like if you want if you want to see these early games at these lower ranks, this honestly is something like I had fun that game. It went a little long. Not a lot happened on the other side of the board. Guys still unlocking. More props to him for grinding it out with me, but this is kind of the decks that this is kind of the games you're gonna see. So like, I can either not record, but like I had fun recording and I hope you enjoy the con content. It's not like the funnest games, but they're games and this is already probably going really long. Love you homies. Mwah. Later.